A very good morning to all of you. I sincerely thank the Honorable Minister for Agriculture, Sri Niranjan Edigaru, for joining us today as a guest of honor. I also thank our Honorable Minister, Sri Talasani Srinivas Yadavgaru, Minister of Animal Husbandry, Dairy and Fisheries, for gracing the occasion as a guest of honor as well. I'd like to also acknowledge the presence of a very eminent personality, the member of Niti Ayog, Dr. Ramesh Chand. Thank you, sir, for your steadfast support. Thank you for your steadfast encouragement. Thank you to our Special Chief Secretary, Sri Adar Sinhaji, who is who's in charge of fisheries, dairy, animal husbandry departments. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Jai Sanjan Garu and uh, my director, Food Processing, Akhil Garu, thank you for organizing this wonderful event. I also would like to welcome Sri Raghunandan Rao Garu, who is the Secretary of Agriculture, who is also the Secretary of Horticulture. Thank you very much, Raghu Garu, for joining us. I would also like to acknowledge J. Satyanarayan Garu, a very senior man who was responsible, in fact, for those of you who do not know, uh, for Aadhaar. He led the, you know, he led the uh, team, Aadhaar, for about three years. Thank you, Satyanarayan Garu, for joining us. Uh, Mrs. Suvarna Garu, the CEO of uh, NFDB, the National Fish Development, Fisheries Development Board, which is also located in Hyderabad. I welcome you as well. To all the delegates, to all the members who are participating from various parts of India, I welcome you all. I would also like to acknowledge the presence of our Telangana State Seed Corporation Chairman, former member of Legislative Assembly, Sri Kondabala Koteshwaragaru. Thank you, Koteshwaragaru, for joining us. To all my friends from the media, thank you for covering this event. We welcome you all to this wonderful city of Hyderabad. Food Conclave 2023 is just the beginning of a larger story, a larger ambition that we have for the state of Telangana, that we have for the country at large. In fact, uh, as was being mentioned by both ministers, Minister Agriculture, Niranjan Nidigaru, and Minister Animal Husbandry, Dairy and Fisheries, Sri Talasani Srinivas Yadavgaru, Telangana today is heralding, is ushering in five revolutions all at once. This might seem a bit far-fetched. This might seem a bit improbable for those of you who are from out of town. I would urge you to spend time. I would urge you to meet with us, meet with our able principal secretaries, meet with our departments, understand what, he's, what is going on in Telangana and how this has happened over the last eight, eight and a half years. I would also like to quickly make a point that, you know, this food conclave is not just about some business opportunities and trade opportunities. This is also an opportunity for us to make our country truly a one-stop destination in terms of securing the food needs of the rest of the world. Because I think once you start seeing one state coming out with some best practices, delivering the goods, then I think the rest of the country, rest of, the country, rest of India, rest of 27 states will also have a lot to pick up and learn from and a lot to imbibe also. We have an action-packed day today and I promise you that this will become an annual fixture Telangana food conclave, the food conclave will be an annual fixture and it will become a go-to destination for all the food industry uh, leaders in the country and also hopefully in, down the road at some point for the world as well. So we have an action plan day today with almost 21 panel discussions, lots to learn from, you know, a lot of industry leaders, 100 plus CEOs, experts, thought leaders in the agri-food space. We also have the five and 
more interest down the road as well. Finally, of course, we wish to build strong flourish. relationships the long -term that can and eventually flourish comprehensive the long-term partnerships and building a comprehensive ecosystem in the state of Telangana. Has chosen the state food processing already has chosen area. food processing as a trust area, trust area. among the 14 to promote trust areas that we have chosen food processing is an to promote investments. Sector. Food processing just is an extremely important to what sector. The Honorable Minister for Agriculture just was pointing alluding out. to what the Honorable Minister for Agriculture was pointing out. Today Let me quickly is tell you the Telangana today to is a seed bowl of India. Companies. We are home to we are also some the of the largest seed processing companies. We are also the poultry we are also capital. We also, in fact, are the number one state for inland fisheries in India today. We are also the state which has doubled and today stands tallest among all Indian states in terms of livestock population, especially sheep and goat in the entire country. We also have, in fact, become one of the leaders in dairy industry. I think with all these trends, with the kind of expansion that has happened in agriculture sector, with the kind of efforts that have gone in, animal husbandry, fisheries, dairy, horticulture, I think the opportunities are aplenty. We have a dedicated agriculture university, Professor Jaya Shankar Agriculture University, right next to Hyderabad. We also have a dedicated uh, horticulture university named after Kunda Lakshman Bapuji. We also have a veterinary university named after Sri P. V. Narsimha Rao Garu. We have a forest university and we also now will be getting an aqua university point I'm trying to make is, not only is the revolution being ushered in, not only is the revolution being ushered in by way of produce, by way of all the additional harvesting that is happening in the state, we're also creating an ecosystem that will create talented workforce, talented youth, which will ensure that whatever investment you are choosing to make will continue to remain a long-term bet on the state. Over the last five years, the state has added more than 7,000 crores of fixed capital fixed capital base to the food processing capacities in Telangana. We proudly host some of the biggest names in the industry in the world in our state. Coca-Cola, ITC, PepsiCo, Mars, Hudson, and the list is large. I can go on. There's the Indian MNCs, there's the local Indian players, and there's also foreign multinationals who have made this state their choice of destination over the last eight years. In order to further boost the food processing sector in our state, our visionary chief minister, Shri K. Chandrasekhar Rao Garu, has come out with a unique idea of setting up special food processing zones. We have already acquired 10,000 acres of land in the hinterland of Telangana, in the rural areas of Telangana, and we are ready to roll it out to all of you with packaged, customized incentives. In fact, the one thing I'll tell you, our industrial policy is one of the best in the country and it has catapulted us to the top of the league on the ease of doing business rankings. If I have to quickly tell you in three words or three sentences on what makes our industrial policy special. Our industrial policy is called as TSI Pass. TSI Pass. TSI Pass literally stands for Telangana State Industrial Project Approval Self-Certification System. What that means is, if any of you is interested in investing in my state, you actually don't need to meet any of us on the dais here. You do not need to meet a minister. You don't need to meet the principal secretary or even the director of food processing. If you have a piece of land already acquired in the state, you can hit the ground running. You can declare yourself as being a law-abiding enterprise and you can start the construction of your factory on day one by self-certification process. This is backed by statute. This is backed by legislation. But when you start construction, what we would, of course, require is that you submit an application online because we need to know who is doing what in my state, in our state. So when you submit an application online about the nature of the business, the investment, the activities that you're going to be engaged in, the number of employees that will be working for you, etc., the taxes you would be paying, etc., etc. 
We will get that application from the TSI Pass portal. We will promise it in 15 days, again, as, per, as mandated by legislation, the TSI Pass Act. If we do not give you an answer in 15 days, a yes or a no answer in 15 days, on the 16th day, backed by a legislation again, it's an automatic approval, it's a deemed approval. No other state in India will tell you that. It's an automatic yes. And the third and most important thing, if you ask me, we can actually tailor make incentives for you. We will ensure that you receive the best of support and we will tailor make a package of incentives to make you attractive and competitive in this very competitive world. So if you are willing to share with us what my competition, what my competing states are offering you, for instance, if you're choosing between two states to make an investment, if you are willing to share those details of what is being offered to you, all I can tell you is TSI Pass also enables me, the industries minister, to either meet or beat the best offer you have in India. Now, that is the kind of flexible policy making which has helped Telangana garner the number one position in India today. Not only the policy, we also have earmarked land. We also have made it easy for you to get approvals. And we also have created, of course, you know, you need to procure the raw material. You need to have access to the raw material. And we would love to see our farmers prosper, you know, ch cherish and flourish. So therefore, we will also facilitate backward integration. We will ensure that the sourcing can be done locally. We have more than 25,000 farmer producer organizations called as Raitu Bandhu Samitis in our state. We will ensure that you work closely with our farmer producer organizations to make it a wonderful long-lasting relationship. We also will ensure that the self-help group women organizations in Telangana, which are extremely robust, in fact, just to give you a sense of what I'm talking about, the self-help group women in rural Telangana, in the 12,769 villages that we have, avail loans and bank linkages to, to the tune of almost 15,000 crores per annum. And their repayment is 99.99%, if you can believe it. Now, that's the potential of these self-help group women who are extremely strongly federated. Now, how is that going to help you? By way of ensuring that these women who are extremely ambitious and entrepreneurial, they will, we will ensure that they will work in tandem with you to create a strong workforce, to create a strong supply chain, both forward and backward. We can, in fact, create a win-win situation for the industry, for the SHGs, and also for the farming community. We are also committed to ensuring that our small entrepreneurs and micro-entrepreneurs flourish in our state. As of now, we have more than 2,500 micro and small entrepreneurs in the food processing sector. And these are all ably guided by Agriculture Department, Industries Department, and of course, Animal Husbandries and Fisheries Department as well. We have some very unique entrepreneurial initiatives like the Dalit Bandhu Scheme, where Dalits are given a grant of 10 lakh rupees per family. Now this also gives you an impetus. I'll give you an example. In my constituency where I represent from, Sirsila, we had, we had brought in this program called Dalit Bandhu and in fact we had asked the local beneficiaries to identify business opportunities and how they can harness this money that has been given by the government and how they can multiply it manifold. Four beneficiaries had come together in a mandal called LRD Pate in a village called Dumala. Government had given them 30 lakh rupees. They pooled that money together. They have applied for subsidies. They have applied for all the benefits that they are eligible for. They approached banks and they have created a rice mill with three crore total cost and total investment. And now today, it's a shining example of what can be done truly in a public-private partnership mode. Now, this is something I think that the rest of the country also can learn from. How to promote micro-entrepreneurs, small entrepreneurs, and marginalized social entrepreneurship as well from the grassroots level with industry-friendly policies, robust and fast-growing raw material base, fast-growing world-class infrastructure, and active facilitation and enablement by the government, not just to set up investment in a factory, but also to operate and ensure continuity in a competitive manner. Telangana today is the best place to invest in the entire country. For those of you who are from outside of Hyderabad, outside of Telangana, I keep telling my 
uh, friends from across India. Telangana is where Hyderabad and Telangana is where the north of India meets the south of India. It is where biology meets technology. It is where dosa, because this is food conclave. I think this is where it is where paratha meets dosa. It is where I think sambar and idli and you know everything else that you would want to see in the south and the north. All of all of that converges. It is where the five revolutions are converging in India today. The green revolution, which is ushered in as was mentioned by our agriculture minister, our paddy production had was 68 lakh metric tons back in 2014, and today what we procure in terms of paddy from the farmers, and this is again from the, by the civil supplies department alone, is almost 2.68 lakh, 2.68 crore metric tons. It is almost quintupled. Now that is Telangana for you in terms of agriculture expansion. Our cotton, in fact, is the best quality cotton in the country. This is not me saying it. The long staple cotton of Telangana, the Southern India Mills Association, recognizes that this gives immense opportunity for you to actually work with the textile industry with growing hybrid cotton, high yielding cotton, long staple cotton, and make it a very lucrative proposition for you to invest in this sector as well. Let me also quickly tell you, we stand number one in inland fisheries. We have, in fact, turned around our government dairy. Vijaya Dairy was in losses when this government came into office. Today, in fact, Vijaya Dairy gives us back a dividend. I think they have given us a dividend of more than 30 plus crores in the last several years. Now, this is the story of Telangana, where all these five revolutions are also converging and give you an immense opportunity for you to invest and to possibly prosper. Like I said, we have not only the best policies, we also have today an enabling ecosystem. And we would love to see, you know, over the course of the day, on how many engagements and how many MOUs and how many investment proposals that we will receive. I was told by Akhil that uh, already in principle, we have received interest to the tune of almost 7,000 crores of rupees, creating nearly 50,000 new jobs in the state of Telangana. We will share the details over the course of the day. But I'm very hopeful that with sustained focus with a clear vision led by our honorable chief minister telangana can truly not only you know uh, uh, take to sloganeering of doubling farmers income etc because we have to remember mere sloganeering doesn't really work just a slogan saying i'll double the farmers income will not work it has to be backed by policies it has to be backed by robust economic support and that's exactly what telangana does and i promise you that you'll, your experience today in the city of Hyderabad, that this food conclave will be wonderful. I look forward to seeing you all during the course of the day. Thank you very much. Jai Telangana. Jai Hind. Thank you.